And as you can see on this back wall, uh, because of the view, you got What's up everybody? Welcome back to Garage Gym Gains, the home of pretty much everything home gym related. So if you have a home gym and you haven't already subscribed, which a lot of you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel a bunch. We're almost to 3,000, which is exciting. So yeah, anyways, today we're checking out Kurt's home gym, Kurt Wiedner. I'm gonna link his YouTube. He's just about to hit a thousand subscribers. As I'm recording this, he's at 970, so make sure you punch through and subscribe to his channel. I'll link his Instagram down below as well. But all in all, we are gonna be looking at a $100,000 garage gym. The 100,000 is kind of a ballpark estimate. It is important to note about 60 grand of that 100 comes in the building and the cement foundation. He is on a hill, so that makes, that makes it kind of difficult to pour a foundation, I would assume. So it's probably a little pricey, but we're gonna get into it and see what we have to see. As per usual, make sure you keep track of what your favorite part of this home gym is. Comment down below, I'm gonna do the same. request I'm gonna do a little updated video tour uh, so you can get an idea what the, the gym now looks like it's kind of hard to believe but less I mean a year ago this was really just in the concept phase in fact uh, uh, last June they had just started on the concrete in the middle of summer last year and even late summer we just had a concrete pad here with no building so um, you know fast forward we've come a long way so Come on in and let's, uh, let's take a look around so you can kind of see where we're at now. I'm excited. It sounds like this came together relatively quick. I mean, I'm sure it was in the works for a long time, but once they actually started doing stuff, it sounds like it came together pretty quick. So uh, as you come in, first piece of equipment you see here is the Rep Fitness Functional Trainer. This is the FT5000. I actually did a really in-depth review. so. You know, you can look at some of my other videos on YouTube. They're one of the more recent ones would be the review I did on that, but awesome piece of equipment. I really want one of those. I would probably have to get rid of my Titan uh, Reverse Hyper HP and D to make room for it, but that is something I've been thinking about. If you want to check one out, go through the links down below. If you shop through any of those links, it does help out the channel, and we really appreciate it. Um, kind of stay right here as you come in. You see a lot of this different stuff on the ground. We've got oh my goodness! Um, five different sandbags. This is my my XD vest, forty pound vest. But we've got a lot of different sandbags. One of them is over here. Over, it's actually um, holding down the backside of the reverse sniper. The rest of them are over here. I just kind of um, overfilled these so. The round ones, this is now 112, and this one is 177. Um, this big rogue one is ballpark 220. I haven't really weighed it. It might be more than that. Um, this one is somewhere around, I don't know, 50, 75, something like that. And that one's probably about 125. Um, Already by far the most sandbags we've seen in a home gym. Very impressive. You can see we got the... Uh, Three tempering rollers here, uh, the 50, the 80, and the 110. Um, these are actually my brother-in-law's. He he purchased those. Um, if you're not familiar with body tempering, it's awesome. It's awesome form therapy. And um, check out Donnie Thompson. Um, that's that's kind of his 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 gig. Um, he is that's his. Uh, he's an expert in that area and um, has a lot of you know great material out there. So check his stuff out. Um, our main battle rope, and this is kind of where we do them, the six and a half foot piece of turf that goes down the center of the gym we use for all kinds of stuff. We, got, we actually have two different sleds, the big sled, which are uh, used for push pulls, also do my backwards walking for my knees over toes stuff, um, do the um, battle ropes here. As you can see, I got the dots for the dot drill. Um, you know, a lot of agility, plyometrics, 
Then there's a smaller sled for um, that my uh, my younger niece uses for doing her push work. Uh, it's also great for pulling. You attach a rope. You can do a lot of cool stuff with that. So um, going over here in this back corner, um, some of our leg equipment. Cybex Pro Leg Curl. This is one of my favorite leg curls. Uh, probably one of the best designed prone leg curls I've ever used. And then it's complement the Cybex leg extension. Um, I really like these two pieces. Go. Not a ton to say yet, other than this is going to be really hard to pick our favorite pieces of equipment or favorite parts of the home gym, rather garage gym in this case this is incredible so the rep far. fitness ghd which i just did a review on so you can check that out that's that's on my youtube channel as well seated calf raise over here in the corner and then here we got our uh, custom deadlift platform that dave and i built with uh band pegs attached and got all our our uh, cool colorful bumper plates so it looks like a big box of crayons um there's a lot of cool stuff that i actually built in here um these are farmer's walk handles i just recently built these a couple weeks ago the cool thing is that now that the weather's getting nice and go out in the driveway challenge myself going up the hill load them you up. Go. uh yesterday i think i had up to about 150 in each hand and going up the hill with it so that's a nice little workout. As you come around here, you see you've got the um, hammer strength seated row. Then this is just a, um, a split squat stand that I built. This is, goes back to when we were in the small building, had limited equipment, wanted something to be able to do split squats on to elevate the back leg. So I just built that out of basically leftover spare wood and uh you know a piece of pipe to go through the middle and put some pads on it so it's functional very clever and looks to be more convenient than having like a leg roller coming off the rack because you can put that wherever you need it to be um right here we got our titan fitness reverse hyper um good piece of equipment haven't done a review on this yet we need, do need the sandbag to kind of hold it down, but you can go pretty heavy on this. Over here, you see this is a, um, a slant board that I actually built a few weeks ago so I could do some of the, the knees over toe stuff. I just did a video on knees over toe stuff, and if you're not familiar, I'd also check out Ben Patrick, knees over toes guy. He's on YouTube, Instagram, everywhere else. Um, good stuff as far as therapy and avoiding knee issues or fixing them. So... And kind of the centerpiece of our gym is the Rep Fitness PR5000, which I've done a full review on this. Also, you can find that on uh, on my YouTube channel. There's, you know, not really too much that this doesn't have. Um, I would not mind selling my Rogue RM4 and getting a Rep PR5000 V2 in the red with probably... Maybe black with red cross members or red uprights with black cross members. I don't know. There's just something about it. It's different. I really like it. There's some cool stuff that goes on it. One thing, that one piece that is kind of hidden over here. You have the, the dip attachment, which you can just lock in like that. Obviously, I'm not a dwarf, so I wouldn't do it this slow, but... <laughs> Just to show you how it locks in. There you go. So, but awesome squat rack. I really like this squat rack. It kind of has all the bells and whistles. We've um, really got a set of rings and got the ab straps, all the different pull up possibilities with this. Uh, glow bar that's on the front um i mean you got the, the belt safety straps um you know you can do rack does pretty much pretty much whatever you want i got um four chains that are 21 pounds each so 84 pounds of total chains that can be added you know used on bench squats i mean whatever you want to do 
um, kind of gives some some variable resistance there, different different type of uh, loading pattern. So over here, really nice piece of light equipment. This is something else that if you want, you can you can check out my YouTube channel. And um, I did a really in-depth review on this. This is the Rogers Athletic Pendulum Squat. This is one of those pieces that, you know, when I started thinking about this gym, as far as things that I want, I really wanted one of these. Um, so, uh, and it, it's, if you've never used one of these things, it's absolutely awesome. I'd, I'd definitely uh, encourage you to get the opportunity to check it out. So, um, and one thing that I did is I just made a, since I decided I didn't want to take up room with a standing calf raise machine, I just built a calf raise platform so you can do your calf raises right in there. Okay, well now this should probably go without saying that is certainly the first time we've seen a Rogers pendulum squat in a home gym. That's very cool. Very impressed. I have actually never used one. Um, over here is the Rogue Monster belt squat standalone piece. This is actually my brother-in-law's um, cool piece of equipment. It is definitely multifunctional. Um, there's definitely a lot of different stuff you can do with it. Um, this is one of those that we haven't done a review on it yet, but we will. It's kind of uh, on our list to do. So, going into the uh, back corner here, um, these two pieces I got from Fitness Empire. They're out of Pottsville, PA. I actually got several pieces, the leg extension, my lateral raise, all my dumbbells, and then the leg press and hack squat. Um, I, I love these two pieces of equipment. This hack squat is, is, is absolutely awesome. One of the best hack squats I've used. Um, you know, I love hack squats, but I'm really picky on their design. I've used some that suck. And they're not designed well. The angle's not right. You know, the platform's too small, etc. cetera. Um, this one's really well designed and well made. So that's the, that's the hack squat. Leg press over here. If you want to come over in here and show this side and as you can see on this back wall uh, because of the view you got um, three big ah. picture windows that are um, four by seven feet so you can see why I wanted to have those the view is pretty awesome it's really cool in the winter um, Christmas day it actually it snowed so it was just white everywhere uh, as we worked out in here all right so the back corner here this is my other uh, kneeling leg curls. You can tell I'm, I'm really into leg equipment. Um, this is a Cybex kneeling leg curl. Amongst single leg and kneeling leg curls, as far as I'm concerned, this is the best. I've used Hammer Strength. I've used some other brands. Without a doubt, um, this is my favorite. This is another one of those that, um, you know, I, I wanted to have one of these. So um, gives a nice selection as far as leg equipment. So. Anyway, coming around here, you can see this is my, my big sled. This is a um, Core X sled. Um, I did a lot of research on sleds years ago. I've had this for quite a bit. I've had this much longer than I've had the gym. I, I actually used to take this to Anytime Fitness with me. Um, but this is mostly one complete welded piece. There's a few pieces that are are um, uh, bolted in, um, but this sled weighs something like 125 wow. pounds by itself. It's very heavy duty and sturdy, uh, very smooth. I really, really like it. So it uh, gets a lot of use, has gotten a lot of use for several years. So far, this gym is probably one of my favorites. It's, it's definitely up there in the top three or four. This is awesome. The, this view is incredible, the overall location, all the unique pieces that are in there, there's so much room. It's awesome. I've definitely never seen that sled before either. Um, you know, as far as the alternatives on sled, I, I think it actually blows away a lot of the alternatives. So anyway, back this corner over here, as you can see, is our dumbbell area. Um, well, we got our kettlebells over here. So most of them, the big ones, all the way up to 150 pounds. So I think this is like 35, 53, 80, 106, 124, and then 150. Um, dumbbells up to 100 pounds, three benches. Right now we got three benches. Ultimately what I plan to do 
is get a, um, a, a fully adjustable incline bench that goes to a decline and has the um, the ab roller attached so you can do decline sit-ups and I would probably get rid of these two and have the one replace both of those benches so it'll take up less space and it'll look a lot better um, and be just as functional. Um, this, uh, as you can see, there's some overflow. The the Rogue three-tier rack wasn't enough for all the dumbbells, so I actually built this from scratch. This is made of wood, and then we painted it um, to get the rest of the dumbbells and then the rest of the kettlebells. A lot of these smaller kettlebells are my brother-in-law's. As you can see, there's pairs. The idea there was that for benching, when you want to work on shoulder stability work, um, you can hang uh, a dumbbell off each side at multiple weights and do stuff there. For additional stability work, this is also Dave's. This is an earthquake bar. You can do a combination of earthquake bar with the kettlebells. Um, and so you'll really be all over the place and getting some serious shoulder stability work. I've actually never used one of those either. Gosh, this whole gym is just stuff I've never used before. I, I need to try one of those for sure. But so far, again, I mean, obviously awesome setup. I'm excited to see. Um, the West I'm excited to see what else we have in here. Side bench is Dave's. He purchased that. Cool thing is that this comes with a thinner pad. He upgraded to the Thompson Fat Pad, and so what he did recently was he took the the pad that it came with, and he built these, um, basically to make the equivalent of of a floor press on the bench. So as you can see, this is all wood, all right, and. These set in like this. All right, fits in there perfectly. And so basically you can do a floor press without having to use the floor. You can actually stay on your bench and do a floor press. So I thought that was pretty crafty. Very That's genius. I wonder if anybody's done that before. I mean, now that you see it, it's like, oh, it's obvious, but I certainly would not have thought of that. That is, that's awesome. Very uh, innovative um, and, uh, you know, money saving thing. There's a lot of cool stuff that we've kind of done on our own, but I give Dave a lot of credit. That was pretty neat. So um, over here, we got another one of these rogue hangers. You can see actually there's there's three of these in the gym. There's two on that side and then one over here. So all our smaller bands, um, some of the grip stuff, the fat grips, Thompson fat pad, the board press pads, etc. This is a um, basically a platform that I built from wood that I had that can be used for a variety of things, including some knees over toe stuff, single leg step downs. I'll actually put it here to elevate my feet when I'm doing bench press. Um, you see on the, the hangers over there, we got bands that go all the way up to, I actually have 200 pound bands, um, purples, the grays, blacks, greens, pretty much everything. Belts, uh, wrist wraps, chains, basically all the miscellaneous stuff. Uh, I forgot to mention in this back corner, I um, recently put this up, which is basically a Rubbermaid Fast Track. And this is just a kind of a cool way to put all of the, um, the knee sleeves, elbow sleeves, kind of let the mare out when I'm, I'm done working out. One thing you'll notice that we don't have in here, and that's mirrors, because you don't need to freaking look at yourself while you're working out. Okay, there's, there's no ego or narcissism here. It's just hard work. Um, Coming back around, one of the pieces of plate load equipment. I really wanted a diverging lap pull down. Um, I ended up buying two pieces of steel flex equipment, which I'm so far very impressed with. So this is the steel flex diverging lap pull down. Awesome piece of equipment at a really good price point. Um, I've had this, actually at one point I had this, and I did a, a review on this piece of equipment when I had it in my house. But, when I was waiting for the building to be installed. Um, so the awesome piece of equipment. Um, as you can see over here, 
are some of my, my back equipment. Got a, a York seated row and a York lat pull down. Um, both really nice pieces of equipment. And then steel flex plate loaded inclined chest press. This is a converging chest press. Um, awesome piece of equipment. Uh, lastly, you see we got the side back slider race. Um, I was just a piece of equipment. I'm not really big on selectorized machines with the exception of a few that I like and a ladder raise machine was one that I wanted. Um, the nice thing about this is a very small footprint, so it takes up very little space. Um, looking into the future, I actually have another piece of equipment that I ordered, uh, made to order piece. That is going to be a secret. I'm not letting anybody know what I got. So you'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, but this piece is actually going to move over to where the sled is, and... Let's also take guesses down below what that's going to be. I'm going to guess it's a standing lateral raise, like the one where you have the handles and you're doing lateral raises with it. That's my guess. And, and maybe he's already told everybody, I mean, this video is a couple months old, but don't cheat. Just guess down below what you think that piece of selectorized equipment is. I think he said it was selectorized. The, the other piece is going to go in here. Um, as you can see, one of the things I've added recently, we have a lot of flags and, and banners um, that I recently kind of put up permanently. On this, on this back wall, you know, we got the, uh, the important stuff. This gets its own wall. It's an American flag, right? Um, uh, flag attributing, um, tribute to, um, you know, military armed forces, uh, firefighters and uh, law enforcement. Um, that's important as far as I'm concerned to recognize. Um, so like I said, I wanted that stuff on its own wall. Um, over here, this is a little shelf that I built from scratch. Put this in here for the stereo system and then there's kind of miscellaneous, my BCAs, chalk, iPods, stuff like that. And then there's some kind of uh, extra extraneous stuff down here. We got a little kind of a compartment ab wheels and more chalk and and other uh there's some uh some grip stuff and whatnot so um oh, last thing as you can see here this is our 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 nine bar hold i <laughs> i just briefly thought that he wasn't even going to talk about the bars thank you for coming through for us kurt we got to check out the bars Holder, which is completely full we got a lot of different specialty bars there so there's actually two Rogue West Side bars, those are Dave's. He purchased those. Um, it's nice to have two because there's often more, more than one of us working out here. So if somebody's benching while somebody's deadlifting or somebody's squatting while somebody's deadlifting, two people can use one at the same time. Um, also have the Kabuki Cadillac bar, uh, which I really like. I still need to do a complete review on that. But that was one of my specialty bars that I decided I wanted. And um, despite the fact that it's expensive, I have no regrets. It's an awesome bar. This is my um, my big trap bar. You can't even get these anymore. Um, this is, I, I think this is the best trap bar made. Uh, unfortunately, I, I don't think you can find them anymore. Curl bar, axle bar, and then we got a, uh, a junior bar, which is cool because we got some youngsters working out in here and this gives them the opportunity to learn some technique and use a, a smaller, shorter bar. So, anyway, did I forget anything? Mm -mm. All right, well, Safety that's squat the tour. bar, that's about it. What's that? Safety squat bar. Oh yeah, yeah, the <laughs> Titan safety squat bar. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it for now until we, we start adding more stuff. So, hope you enjoyed the tour and um, Check out my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. Man, first off, everybody do exactly what Kurt said. After this video, make sure you go through the link down below. Go to his channel and subscribe. Get him to 1,000 subscribers. I think he's at 970 right now. That should be pretty easy. But holy crap, thank you so much for letting us check out your home gym. That was absolutely insane. I loved every bit of it. 
Take a moment, comment down below what your favorite part of the home gym was. Make sure you hit the thumbs up on your way down there, but I'm gonna give you a little bit of time and we're gonna just kinda, oh, my light just died. Oh no. Plate motor, the crying chest press. Well, that's what we'll do. Well, you're uh, commenting what your favorite part was. I'll change the battery and it'll actually work out perfectly, you know? All right, you can see me again. My favorite part of the gym, and it was tough, but I'm gonna go with the west side bench with the addition of those, the I don't even know what to call them, the floor press adapters, the floor, floor press pads. I don't know, the pads that sat beside the bench. So you can essentially do floor press on the bench. I think that's absolutely genius. And once you see it, it's like, it's kind of obvious, but yeah, I still totally wanted to thought of that, but I'm excited to read down below what your favorite parts were. Kurt, thank you so much for letting us check out your gym. If you yourself have a home gym you want me to check out, record a video horizontally with your phone, upload it to YouTube. You can list it as private if you want, then send me the link on Instagram, garage underscore gym underscore gains, or email it garage gym gains with a Z at gmail.com.